Hey my groovy people, congratulations on your Montmartre Creative Station purchase. I assume that's why you're here. So right now you might be looking at all the parts and scratching your head at how to fit it all together. Don't worry, I'm going to take you through it step by step. Why don't you follow along? You ready? Let's go. Oh wait, um, maybe just quickly hit that subscribe button and that bell set to all notifications. Perfect. Let's go. When you first cut into your box, you'll be met with some neatly packaged pieces. In included is a package of your bolts and screws and tools, as well as your handy assembly instructions with an itemized listing and some slightly confusing steps. Overwhelming. Step one, you'll need your hex wrench and Allen key, four floor levelers, four number 22 Allen bolts, four number 18 nuts, and your number nine rear panel. And number one and number two left and right leg parts. Set up so the adjustment knob thread on your legs are faced outwards. Thread your levelers to the base of your legs. Attach your number 9 rear panel to the back of the legs using your bolts and nuts. Tighten them off using your tools. Step two, you'll need the part number three and number four arms. Two number 20 Allen bolts, your number 10 bottom shelf, You'll also need your number 16 adjustment knobs to thread in the legs, but I left those in as I'm reassembling our display table. But it's simply a matter of threading them at this step. Place your arms in your legs with the top protrusion at the back and the adjustment levels facing outwards. Next, take your bottom shelf. The lip should slot into the rear panel. Thread and tighten your Allen bolts. You'll need to apply a little pressure to the shelf to be able to thread your bolts. This just gives the shelf a good amount of tension. Tighten up with your Allen key. Nice. Step three. You'll start with your number 7 and number 8 front and rear bars and four number 20 Allen bolts. Screw in your Allen bolts and tighten. Be sure to have the thread holes on the bars underneath. These are for your basket rails in the next step. rear bar should have two central thread holes facing upwards. Once that's done, take your number 14 ratchet arm and two number 22 Allen bolts and bolt into that rear bar. The ratchet arm should open forwards with adjustment notches on the bottom or back arm. Step four. I've left these pieces in, but it's simply your number 26 cushions with two number 22 Allen bolts threaded into those arm back protrusions. Now take your four number 11 basket rails and we're going to screw them into the underside of the frame. Now Montmartre haven't provided a screwdriver or telekinetic powers, so you're going to have to provide your own. I've chosen the screwdriver. Take your eight number 24 Phillips bolts and attach your rails. I like this part because I get to feel like a mechanic, ready to dish out some unexpected servicing costs. Uh, yeah, your alternator's blinking pretty hard and won't distribute cash from your pocket to mine, so I'll fix that, but it may cause your cuss filters to fail soon and you might start to overheat. I can definitely fix it, but it'll cost you. 
Step five is nice and simple. Grab your two number 12 baskets and your four number 19 pins. Place your baskets in part way first, then place your pins so they prevent the drawers from falling out. Step six, you'll start with your two number 15 L brackets and four number 22 Allen bolts. These will screw into the underside of our number five top frame. Do times two. When that's done, with your L brackets at the rear and facing up, flip your top over as shown. Now you're set to screw in the other side of your ratchet arm to the center of your top frame with two number 22 Allen bolts. Now use two number 21 Allen bolts to attach your L brackets to your legs. This can be fiddly. Success. Step seven I've left in as well. This is attaching your four number 25 glass spacer suctions to the top of your frame. These can be a little tough, so don't forget to add a little elbow grease if needed. I've taken this opportunity to give the glass top a wipe down. Grubby little fingers. I'm also adding a little moisture to the suctions to help adhesion. Okay, step eight, add your glass top. These can take a bit of knocking around, but I'd still be careful when dealing with glass. Gently does it. Now add your number 13 pencil ledge and your number 27 Phillips screws. Get out your telekinesis again for this part. Slick edge. Mmm, angusta couple of number 23 bolts in the back of the top frame. Last step, step nine. Parts number 30 and number 31 into number 29. That's your cup and foam tray into your metal tray. Take your three number 28 Allen screws and thread slightly. Thread them into the back of your metal tray, not all the way as you need to slide it onto your table frame still. Once you have, tighten those suckers up. Only tighten enough to be firm. You don't need to be too outrageous. You might start to bend the bracket out of shape, accidentally. And look, it's all come together. Very nice. And there you have it, all set up, ready for you to get creating. Now, if you had any hiccups or have any questions at all, hit up that comment section and we'll get straight back to you. And as always, thanks for watching. We'd love it if you showed some love by liking the video, subscribing to our channel, and turn on that bell to get notified for all our future content. But you've already done that, haven't you? And of course, come check out all the thousands of products we have on offer in store and online at archheadonline.com.au. Stay creative, everyone.